Scotty has all the money, says Mr. Martin. Yes, I'm hanging on to trillions and trillions of pounds because I want to buy more than one suit. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard anything so ridiculous? These poor souls calling themselves elites, they'll find that they own nothing. Uh, you know, they can only curate it. And are they working for the good of the people? You see, your very, very, very wealthy people in the past used to look after the people. You look at Andrew Carnegie. Now, he was a tough guy, but he was an ordinary guy from Dunfermline, uh, Carnegie Park. And uh, when he went to Pittsburgh and ran the American steel industry, he gave money for libraries in Scotland, the Carnegie Libraries. Skibo Castle was his Scottish house. You know, incredible. He understood that it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. He understood that. And that's the message we need to get to these elites nowadays. If you want to be thought of as a proper person, as a thoroughly decent human being, not as some sort of narcissistic, social, psychopathic person, then start giving money for the good of the people. Start off with feeding the children. Start off with increasing the population because the world is tiny. Start off with getting the right people in power who represent the people and not some unelected, voiceless cartel. So start thinking properly for the future of the world. Leave the world a better place for your having been in it because you won't be in it long. Then you will have to face the music in eternity. Those of us who have looked after the world, we will be absolutely fine in eternity. We will be allowed to reincarnate and come back and dwell amongst our loved ones. But if you are a baddie and evil and you've been thieving and stealing and trying to flum mucks and being a deceiver, then you will have a very, very, very challenging time when the trumpet shall sound and judgment day will happen. And trust me, I've spent my life looking at this, talking about this, reading up on this, and I can tell you that I know my stuff and it will happen. So there you have it. Wake up and live, says Mr. Martin. Absolutely. Wakey, wakey, world. Uh, there we go. Stop dreaming, Scotty, says Mr. Martin. Mr. Martin, <laughs> we are far from dreaming. This is a reality. Everything else that stuffs your head with nonsense, Mr. Martin, is the dream. Have we all got that? So there you go. So that's the truth of it. As my dear late great father would say, you can only wear one suit.